the most pertinent question currently is, are you protecting what matters the most? To learn more about this, let's welcome Mr. Samir Ahar Rao, CEO, Ardent Privacy, to the stage. Today's enterprises are hoarding huge amounts of excess data with lack of due diligence posing huge security risks and regulatory liability. This lack of data hygiene, data minimization and elimination strategies and tools have become a major problem and significantly increased business risk for enterprises across industries. Mounting pressure from consumers around the world demanding more data privacy have led to laws like GDPR, CPRA, and CDPA, as well as state laws forcing small and large enterprises to re-examine how they use, store, process, share, and destroy customer data. In addition to security management frameworks like ISO 27001 and 27701, SOC 2, CMMC, and many more. To meet these new compliance standards and improve data hygiene, you need a nimble and effective privacy compliance solution that won't interfere with your core business functions and works with your existing technology stack. Introducing Turtle Shield, the data minimization and privacy governance solution for your enterprise. Using Turtle Shield, you can implement effective security and privacy by design approach. Turtle Shield enables you to meet compliance requirements in a meaningful way. With our data minimization first approach, we make your digital infrastructure cost efficient, secure, and compliant. Turtle Shield works as a machine learning and AI powered enterprise software platform platform that helps businesses discover, identify, inventory, map, minimize, and securely delete personal data. Data minimization helps businesses minimize excess data and turn your privacy program into a profit center. Using an oil drilling-like approach, privacy intelligence can rapidly scan large data sets across environments within hours, saving 75% of discovery time. And with the Right to be Forgotten module, businesses are empowered to comply with mandatory deletion of personal data, eliminating future legal liability for companies. Turtle Shield will simplify and automate privacy compliance while protecting what matters most. Companies really need to shift towards data-centric security approach to effectively protect against data breaches. We need to know what our data assets are and prioritize what needs to be protected most. This becomes even more important in the cloud because data is dispersed and even more accessible. Get to know how we can help making your privacy and security programs meaningful and successful. Visit ardentprivacy.ai to learn more and receive a short platform demonstration. Ardent and Turtle Shield, data privacy simplified and automated. Good afternoon and namaste everyone. It is my immense pleasure and privilege to address you at DSCI Best Practices Summit 2021. This week is the 75th anniversary of Indian independence and I wish you all a very happy Independence Day as well. As we talk about best practices in enterprise security, I would like to bring your attention to a very special topic which is near and dear to me. Are you protecting what matters most? when we secure our digital infrastructure in an age of machine learning, artificial intelligence, it is even more important and we are often missing that context and that's why very important. Prioritization of security controls are going to define success of security programs and data-centric security will play vital role in that. Let's talk more about that as we go on. I'll start here with uh, a book recommendation for your reading, Gutenberg to Google by a famous author, Tom Wheeler, the former FCC chairman. He talks about three network revolutions. Uh, the first one was 15th century, the printing, the second 19th century, the telegraph, as well as the railroad revolution. 
where actually humanity could beyond move beyond the speed of the horse and he puts that in the context for a third revolution which we are going through today or which we are living in it is about data artificial intelligence virtual reality blockchain and he especially talks about responsibility to protect data and cyber security in conclusion we are adding so much data and we'll be adding so much data in future we need to be really highly strategic what data we need to protect and how we prioritize that data breaches are not new and they are not going away in fact they are hitting harder and harder it is global now the colonial supply chain hack or recent accenture ransomware story data breaches also happened in india at a record pace air india dominos big basket and there is a big list there there is one common thing in all these data breaches what is eventual impact of this data breach and legal implication or a societal impact for that we talk a lot about zero trust network security incident response but often miss one context and which is about data mismanagement if we don't have a data to lose how will we use that so data is the most important asset and when we do security we are not really paying attention what we are protecting our security controls are not going to be productive and that is what we are seeing every day when data breaches happen take an example of big tech facebook they say they did not know how many customers exactly were impacted in the april 2021 breach so they did not notify users because they did not know which exact users were impacted in that data breach here is another example as per the public disclosure in 2018 marriott was unaware how much customer data was actually breached that actually over reported who happened over reported in 117 million customers than actual breach data mismanagement and excess data as consequences for enterprise enterprises so how are we responding to these data breaches or threats right we are adding more and more perimeter security controls right we are reinventing the wheel same wheel about perimeter security for two decades we are just adding maybe some more machine learning and artificial intelligence driven approach to that to detect threats better we are moving to cloud and following similar perimeter centric approach which is not working so sometimes i think are we really protecting the network or actually we are protecting the data assets which matter most protecting everything really turns into protecting nothing and we are seeing that every day we must move security controls closer to the data which actually matters most like sensitive data assets like eir intellectual property and so on let's talk about some organizational challenges right which all as a security professional are going through budgetary limitations to sit at the table lack of data hygiene under resource security team operational monitoring it's so much of our brain power of security professional answer is we have to prioritize our security controls and we need to prioritize where data or most critical data is on the top of that security and privacy teams are challenged with compliance record number of laws are passed here in us india as well as globally from gdpr ccpa to rbi guidelines for security to upcoming data protection bill pdpb but we need to take this compliance as opportunity to basically know our data better because all these compliance regulations are driven around what data you own what personal data you own do you have an inventory of that what data you share are you practicing data minimization are you doing risk assessments around that data increasing amount of organizations are going into a digital transformation journey and this is really a good opportunity for security teams 
to implement this data aligned or data centric security approach. As they are moving to cloud, we can align our security controls to the data. Data and security and privacy is becoming a strategic priority. It's a great opportunity to assess organized data assets and minimize excess data. Also, cost model is changing in cloud. Aligning security to actual data will result in cost saving because there is less data to secure. It basically will reduce the cost. I will leave conclusive thought here, right? Build security around the data you own, data which matters to the organization most rather than defining the perimeter first and assuming everything is secure within that perimeter. For example, do you know what, where exactly your sensitive data is stored? Are you 100% sure that you do not have excess data? How do your vendors or third parties use and share the, your customer data? Are you sharing more data than needed? Are you updated on regulatory obligations of sharing this data? Are you ensuring you are actually deleting data which is no longer needed? If we pay attention to all these questions and implement this in meaningful manner, we'll be really moving towards a robust approach to secure actual data and our digital infrastructure. Thank you all and enjoy the rest of the conference. Also, hear our panel for hyper-personalization today, later today. Here is my contact info if you'd like to connect. Thank you, Mr. Samir Ahir Rao. And thank you delegates for joining us in the plenary sessions and the keynote sessions. Uh, so uh, we please uh, stay tuned and request you to join us back at 2 p.m. at the auditorium for the DSCI Sectoral Privacy Guide Healthcare Launch. On that note, uh, I'm signing off. Thank you.